new moon came in very early this morning where I am. New moon in Scorpio, very, very deep, intense energy. It can be. Or you can turn that into very, very deep, magical energy. Really, the choice is yours. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. In this episode, we are going to talk about setting intentions for the new moon, how it can help you, and we'll even draw some cards from the Empowered Spirit Tarot deck just to kind of help you on the path today. So this new moon in Scorpio, it can be intense because Scorpio does, takes us into the depths of our soul, into our psyche. So many people would translate that into shadows. It's okay. Our shadows is what spirituality is all about. Spiritualists study the shadow work because that's where the growth comes from. It's not just all up here in the woos and the angels. No, it's the depth of our soul, the depth of our spirit that we want to get to. When those shadows come up, we want to just acknowledge it. Thank you. It's an opportunity. I hear my teacher in my head. It's an opportunity to really love ourselves even more. It comes up. Okay, I see you. I see you. Thank you. Love me. I love you. Thank you for showing me this, an opportunity to switch that energy into a higher vibration. Think about it in terms of vibration and that'll take you out of the judgment. So Scorpio does that. Scorpio energy. I have Scorpio rising. Scorpio energy is like being in that dark cave and then you come out. <gasps> And sometimes you can get stung and then you come back in. Or sometimes you can be doing the stinging yourself. Which is it for you? Now, we also have a lot of influences in the cosmos. All right, I'm not an astrologer. I work in the energy realm of what astrology is bringing us in. And so it's that fire right now. There is a lot of aggression in the world. There is a lot of changing and shifting. A lot of... A lot of owning your own responsibilities right now. So all of this comes into play when you go to set your intentions. New moons are all about setting intentions. So take some time. All right, we did this in my energy mastery group. Come join us, write out those new intentions. And this particular one coming at the end of the eclipse season, coming after that portal of energy we had on Saturday can feel really like a brand new beginning if you allow it to be. Set those new intentions for ease and effortlessness and how you want to see these intentions coming in for you. What are you intending? What are you wanting to see shift and change in your life? Now is the time. Move through that portal. Set it into the real world. Set it into the physical world. Of course, knowing in your charts where exactly it falls is always helpful, getting a reading. But just in your own life, look at it right now. What are you trying to shift and change? What do you want to come forward for you in your life? This is where we're at right now. We can't follow the people, right? You got to follow your own authentic voice. Scorpio is also about truth, living your truth. What is inside of you? What is that deep part of you that is yearning to open up? We go within, we ask the questions, we look to our higher self for guidance, and then that's where we set the intentions to put into the physical form what we want to see. Know your truth, your truth. That's the energy right now going on with this new moon Scorpio energy. It's a great time to feel the magic of your own soul coming forward. So let's take a nice deep inhale. Let's just set some energy, tune in first, and I'll pull some cards. Calling in the sacred elements of life, fire, inspiring the soul. See the colors, notice that moment when it goes from fire to air. See the smoke, see the clearing, allow it to cleanse the mind, cleanse the space, dropping into the heart, opening up the heart, letting the element of water cleanse all that emotional energy Bring it through, and then we call in the element of our beautiful earth, grounding, supporting, coming into the body, taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale, inhaling, and exhaling. Call all your energy back into you. Call it in for this week. Call it in. Call in your spiritual body. 
Feel the alignment of the spiritual body right on top of the physical body, aligning, centering, slowing down, inhale, expanding the breath up the body, and as you exhale, dropping right into the deepest part of your heart, feel that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you're known, know that you're loved, bringing all these cosmic forces around you. What are the shadows? Ask. How can you love yourself more? Ask. What is your truth? Taking a deep inhale and exhale. Feeling all this energy coming around, the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the spiritual beings of crystals, your higher self, call all this energy in. Feeling this beautiful space you've created around you, within you. Setting an intention for this day, right here. Close your eyes, like make a wish. Feel it, how do you wanna feel? And then as you exhale, exhale it all around you. Let those higher vibrations lift you up. How do you wanna feel the joy, the abundance, the light, the love? right into the heart, inhaling and exhaling. Hold the vibration, hold the vibration, release the attachment, just really stay in that vibration. Picking cards, Ooh, jumping out cards. I love that when it happens. All right, three cards jumped out. We're gonna draw one more. The first card, I love it, High Priestess. All right, know your energy. Be that master of the mystery school. Sit between these beautiful abundant pillars. Bring the crown, the knowledge of spirit, your divinity in. Hold that book. Be that teacher for your soul, your path, your light. Right now, set that intention, add that to your list. Be the high priestess of your own path. How do we do that? All right, we have a lot of earth cards. All right, they're all earth cards. So bring that into the physical world. Influenced by all these earth cards, six of earth, harmony, share your knowledge, share your work, share what you know with others around you. Six is harmony, earth is of the earth plane. Look, it's just showing like all of this harmony is coming for you coming around you, coming within you. So share that out into the world. It will just multiply. Don't feel you have to hold on to your teachings. Shh, don't tell anybody. Share, share your path, share your joy, share your abundance. Good time to donate right now. It will come back to you. Ten of Earth is recognizing that you have built these things in your life. All right, and really honor. This is also a card that says check in. Are you working just for the paycheck? Are you really bringing in the abundance that's true to your soul? That is very key right now. Two of earth. All right, sometimes this can be a little juggling energy. This is just check your boundaries. So even though you're sharing, still check your boundaries. All right, even though you open up your energy, still check your boundaries. Don't take on other people, right? Clear your energy. This is also too like really balancing the work play energy as well. Right, and that, that traditional deck we see like juggling, right? It is, you can, you can balance, but it will require boundaries. Right now can be a challenging time with all the holidays coming in and all the extra things. So be sure, check in with your boundaries. Energetically, pull your energy in a little bit. Family's coming in, pull your energy in even more. Know that you can by being, again, here's our main card for focus this week, the high priestess, number two. Balance that energy, sit between your life, your path, know your teachings to be true. All right, create harmony, notice harmony all around you, share, really evaluate. Are you just living to just get the paycheck? Or are you really creating the abundance from the work that you do? When we follow our soul purpose, we feel that. At the end of the day, we feel so satisfied. I know I do. And then check your boundaries, all right? Scorpio energy can be a sting, so definitely check your balance your boundaries. All right, let's pull all this energy in, take a nice deep inhale and exhale. 
can find me today live on the Reiki Ray Summit talking about soul work, how we can use all these tools in the Akashic Records. I will have a class coming up and a master class at the end of the month. You can find all my information on my website, terryannhyman.com or my Instagram at terryannhyman. All right, closing the energy, take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for your spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit, Gratitude for these new intentions, for the cosmic forces, the stars, the moon, and our beautiful Mother Earth, and all of the galaxy of light. Inhaling and exhaling. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.